Now, Ethiopia and Somaliland are hailing the pact as historic, but Somalia is calling it a blatant assault. What's likely to happen next? What's likely to happen next is uh, diplomatic challenges in terms of uh, Somalia using the forums of uh, the East African community, the Africa Union, and the UN to push back against what it feels is an encroachment on its um, national territory. We also tend, we'll see a diplomatic challenges between uh, Mogadishu and uh, Addis Ababa uh, with this situation. But we could also potentially see uh, an escalation of war. Uh, Somalia is still very weak right now, but with Ethiopia making claims on Somaliland through this agreement, uh, rebel groups like Al-Shabaab will use that to justify mobilization and terrorist attacks against uh, Ethiopia because uh, Somalia might feel this is a major encroachment on its uh, territorial integrity. So I think we, going forward, we really see tension at a diplomatic, political and uh, economic levels. Uh, but some would say Somaliland has uh, governed itself for 30 years, uh, Professor. It has also, it has its own constitution, its own currency. Some say it has largely been peaceful, maybe more than some of the neighbor and uh, neighboring countries. But, but can Somalia claim Somaliland? And why hasn't the African Union recognized this country as a nation, a state that can rule itself? The AU has not recognized uh, Somaliland because uh, of the long-standing legacies of the Organization of African Unity and the, um, the AU to respect the uh, colonial boundaries uh, of um, the independent African states. So the AU is very careful not to set a precedent here because by recognizing Somaliland, then you'll have uh, other separatist um, regimes in countries like uh, Cameroon, um, in countries like Nigeria, all over the continent pushing to also become independent. The other element is, uh, even in spite of Somaliland wanting to be independent, the major uh, global powers in, within the UN the U.S., the EU, China, Russia, they have not been very enthusiastic about giving um, Somaliland its independence, also for political and, uh, and uh, diplomatic reasons. But lastly, the big, bigger challenge for Somaliland here and what it's trying to do is to get more allies to really push for its um, separation from Somalia. And I think this uh, agreement with Ethiopia is the first step in that direction because it provides for the uh, mutual diplomatic, political and security interests of both Somaliland and Ethiopia to the detriment of uh, the Republic of Somalia.